Our market monitor tonight says the stock market will go through a sideways sloppy correction this summer. He's Michael Jones, chairman and chief investment officer at Riverfront Investment Group. And Michael, we sit here with the Dow Jones Industrial Average 3% below its all-time highs. We've had something of a correction of sorts, but you think there will be more coming, don't you? I do. You know, a 3% correction, given the strength of the uptrend in this market, that would be absolutely the minimum of the kind of pullback we should expect. However, given that the Fed is pushing a lot of quantitative easing into the market, we might have a shallower than normal pullback, and we might work off some of the overbought sentiment by simply being sloppy and sideways throughout the summer. And how much of a correction, Michael? How big? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you know, we limit like the downside, say, for example, on the S&P 500 to, say, 1,600, you know, which would be a very shallow, modest pullback by historical standards. And the, the motivation for that, you've got the Goldilocks economic environment. You've got recovery in autos and housing being offset by fiscal drag out of Washington. And thanks to that, you keep the Fed printing the money. Well, let's talk about what you would do to, uh, to protect yourself or the, those investments that you feel are uh, attractive right now. You've got the uh, SPHB, the Power Shares ETF right now, yes? Absolutely. Yeah. When we look for value in the marketplace, we go shopping where other people d don't want to go. And if you think about where investors have been very comfortable in this bull market, it's been in the stable business model, dividend-oriented names. And on our model, those are 30 to 35% overvalued. Go to the opposite end of the spectrum, you look at the very volatile industrials, technology, the oil exploration and production, those names are 35 to 40 percent undervalued, and as the economy stabilizes, we think investors are going to return to those names. Okay. Now, you can do stock selection there, but given the risk, we think bundling them into a single ETF is the best way to play them. Now, you have a couple of individual stocks you want to talk to us about. Let's start with uh, Discover Financial, DFS, on the big board. Why do you like this one? Well, we like this one in, uh, largely because it's got a hidden gem. In addition to the well-known credit card component of their business, they are also one of the three players in the payment processing business. So you've got the bank networks, you've got American Express, and you've got Discover. And Discover is taking market share from the banks and American Express faster than anyone else. They've signed an agreement with PayPal that gives them a tremendous opportunity for growth over the next several years. And in addition to that, they're a balance sheet lender. And as the economy stabilizes, those credit card balances grow, and so do their earnings. Quickly on Agilent Technology, Michael. This is the old Hewlett Packard, the one that, uh, that Will Hewlett founded in the 30s. They have great exposure overseas. They messed up a bit, maybe overpaid on their Deco ac acquisition. With their most recent earnings, it sounds like they've turned the corner there, and we think there's a lot of upside and some catch-up potential. Any disclosures to tell us about on those? I invest in all of our portfolios, and that means I own every one of these names in my personal accounts. Very good. Michael Jones, Chairman and Chief Investment Officer at Riverfront Investment Group, thanks for joining us tonight.